and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to be going over the best set in Madden 20 that I recommend you guys do right now. Guys, as per usual, there is a set with a new promo that I love. There always is. Uh, there's always one set that I'm obsessed with and as you guys can see by my coin count, I, I did the set. I have literally no coins as you guys can see. With all the giveaways and with everything that's been going on, with all the new stuff coming out, Ghost Madden Pass. I've really splurged my coins quite a bit, and it kind of does suck, but I have really, really good players now that I really want to try out. But of course, with Christmas and everything, I've had no time to play, so I have no time, I've had no time to enjoy these players. So pretty much I'm waiting for Weekend League to open, then I'm going to go run wild with Bo Jackson and all these new cards I've been picking up. But guys, this set is one of the best sets in Madden right now. It's a set that I love doing. If you guys have been watching the channel long enough, you already know all about it. I'm going to go over it all in full detail, do all the math for you guys, let you guys know what you're essentially getting overall. And pretty much all the ins and outs of the set. Now, guys, if you are new to the channel, don't forget we're still doing the 25 days of Pood Miss at all the way up until November November 1st. That's a whole year. Up until January 1st, or I should say New Year's Eve. But all you guys gotta do is enter as per usual, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your console and the secret word you hear throughout the video. Once you do all those things, you're to win. Good luck. Now let's get into the bulk of this video. So, as you guys can probably see by my team, like I said, I've spent a lot of coins. And for me to spend all my coins on one set. It must mean I really love this set. So there's been multiple sets I've loved. I've loved most feared sets. I've loved harvest sets. I've loved I've loved plenty of sets, but they're always very similar. Now the set I like this time around is the Ghost of Madden Pass set. Now guys, these are the best sets. I'm not I'm not kidding you. These are the best sets in Madden 20. Think about it. Actually, let me, let me give you guys the breakdown before I even tell you guys justify it. So the set contains Bo Jackson, Michael Strahan, Mel Blunt. Now what does this set get you? It gets you all three of those cards back, Nat. It gets you Michael Vick and his power up. So you essentially end up with four cards, three of them Nat, one of them not Nat. So always remember, Michael Vick you can always sell if you want to recuperate some coins. So, the first card, Bo Jackson. You get a Bo Jackson back. Let me show you guys what Bo Jackson looks like. My powered up Bo Jackson is the best card in Madden by far. On my team, he has a 97 speed. With Bruiser, with a Jukebox, with Inside Zone Guru, he is the glitchiest card in Madden right now. So you get the glitchiest card in Madden back in the set, for one. Number two, you get Michael Strahan. You get one of the best left ends, one of the best pass rushers in Madden back. He's got great athleticism. Powered up and camped up, he's gonna have 99 power move with close to 95 block shed, 90, 95 play rec, crazy speed. And guys, it's a no-brainer. Michael Strahan right now, Probably in line for the best pass rusher in Madden, right there with Reggie White. And he gets a 99 stat, which a lot of pass rushers don't get besides Bosa, but Bosa kind of sucks. And the third one, you get Mel Blunt, who I was not huge on to begin with, but Mel Blunt, I have him on my team. Guys, yeah, he's kind of a beast. Now, Night, compared to Night Train Lane, he's very similar. Very similar. They're very similar cards. But if you power up and chem him up, and you put him there, right there with Night Train Lane, they're going to be two dominant physical cornerbacks that are locked, they're locked down. They're, they're gonna be unbelievable. They can press, they can man, they can zone, they can play wreck, they can jump, they're, they have, they're agile, they have acceleration, they have speed. And he's six foot three, which is, I kinda missed that, I might have missed that point in the last year. He's six foot three. So he kinda has that Richard Sherman effect where even if he's not the fastest or the or any or best anything, he has that height and the jumping. But the beauty of him is he is fast and he does have all that stuff. So if he had like an 89 speed with all the stats, it'd be like Richard Sherman. But he's actually, he actually will get a 92 speed powered up with that jumping, with that height. And he has hit power. This Mel Blunt card is pretty insane. You guys definitely want all three of them. But right now, they're probably three of the best cards at their respectable positions. And then out of all that, you get a Michael Vick 96 overall card back. Now let's go check out Michael Vick's stats so we can go look into kind of why I think you want this Vick. Now remember, this Vick is optional. In this method or in this set, Vick is optional. It's up to you. Even for me, he's still optional. I'm still thinking about whether or not I'm going to keep him. So we can compare him to my Vick right here. I have my Vic all chemmed up and everything already on my team. So Vic has, actually let's compare him to the regular Vic so I can show you guys him against Lamar Jackson. This is my, this is my, my conundrum right now. It's a Vic versus my Lamar. So at face value, same speed, way better throw power, which is kind of a big deal. Sure accuracy is gonna be the same thing. Medium accuracy, same thing. Deep accuracy, way better. Throw under pressure, a little bit worse, 
throw in the room way better and play action I could care less about. So, what is the selling points of Michael Vick here if you're gonna if you have Lamar? I think if you have uh, Mahomes, I think I'd rather have Vick. But if it comes down to Lamar or Vick, here's the thing. So, for the months of January, I mean for the months of January, Vick is going to probably be the best or one of the best quarterbacks in Madden 20. But in February, Lamar Jackson will be the best quarterback from that day on. Probably for the rest of the year, or at least close to it, because at that point, everyone's 99, no one really cares about new cards like that. So it all comes down to what you prefer. See, this Vic right here can get evasive, can get escape artist, and can get gutsy scrambler. This Lamar can't get evasive, and this Lamar, literally, this Lamar is not better in any aspect of anything. This Lamar is not better than Vic. The thing, the thing here is that if you take Vic, you're making a slight upgrade pretty much in throw power. That's what I see. Throw power and evasive is what you're making the upgrade in. And a little, because now you can throw really hard. You can throw much further. That's the upgrade you're making. And then you combine that with a slightly higher Excel, I believe. Yeah, 95 Excel. And, and if you power him up, again, you get a much better stats overall. You're pretty much upgrading Lamar Jackson for now. But the thing is, to get him, you have to throw in his Mutt 10 car, which is kind of pricey at 500k. So you're gonna have to probably wait for another power pass, or you can just not power him up for now, which is kind of what I'm doing without powering him up for now. But that's up to you guys. That's completely on you guys. He does get all of his ability slots activated, so you can still use him just like a regular player. So it's not like he needs to be powered up at this exact moment. So I think I might rock with him for now. And remember, if you need the coins, you can always recuperate your set coin. Your word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your comments. I want you to do all the Grinch to win. Good luck. It's from that. So, that now you guys know. You guys have the whole breakdown on Vic. Now, coming back to the set. Let's do all the math here real quick to show you guys the set. And kind of what my thinking is here. So, again, Vic, for most people, I'd recommend if you have Lamar, maybe you don't have to go the upgrade. I'd probably just hold on to him. I'm not going to probably power him up because he looks just fine without being powered up. And I don't really have the coins to do it. And the Mutt 10 card is kind of expensive. So, the price you want to get all these cards for. You can easily get every card on this list for 290 or below. Just literally sit here. So, let's say you get both for 290. Let's add that on the calculator right here. Both for 290. Michael Strahan for 280. You can get Michael Strahan you can easily get for about 280. I'm not joking. Like, you could always see him in the 280 range. So, add 280 to that number. And then, let's go to Mel Blunt and see what the final price. I see where we're around like 270. Yeah, 290. You can probably find him for about 280 also. Bo Jackson's always a more expensive one. So that comes out to 850,000 coins to do this whole set. Now, here's the thing. 850,000 coins and you get Michael Vick. So let's break down the value. If you don't sell anything, you're getting a Bo Jackson, a Michael Strand, and Mublin. Those cards go for 850k. And now you get a, you get a, you just got a free Michael Vick. Essentially, you get a free Michael Vick. And now sometimes you're like, I don't want Nat cards though. Yeah, well, Bo Jackson isn't a card that you're selling. He's not. He's a card you're keeping. And more than likely, I'll keep him for most of the year because he's going to be up there. Even as a backup, he's going to be a good, great guy to have. And not many running backs or team of the year are going to outpass him. Last year, last year Todd Gurley at team of the year had 95 speed. Like, that was our best running back in team of the year. He had 95 speed. Bo Jackson. All, right, has not, all, all the modern day players are behind in speed. Like, Saquon, probably going to end up with like 94, 94, 94, 95 max. Bo Jackson is always ahead of the curve with that, so you know he'll be good for a while. Michael Strahan, going to be one of the best pass rushers for at least another month and a half. No problem keeping him that. And then Mel Blunt is going to be a, at least a third option cornerback for quite a while with the stats. So I have no problem having these guys in that. So you're pretty much getting a free Michael Vick. Now here's the other way I'm going about it. That's if you keep everything. Now you say, hold up. I only wanted Bo, Strahan, and Blunt. I have Lamar. I don't really want I don't really want Vick. Or I have Mahomes. I don't want Vick. So here's the beauty of this set. Michael Vick goes for about, at night, if you sell him at the right time, he goes for about 500k. So after reduction, you can get back about 460,000 coins. So subtract 850,000 coins by 460,000 coins. As you guys can see right here, you end up with 390,000 coins to do the set. Oh, and Vic has a power up that goes for like 13k. So subtract 13k. You end up with like 300 and... What was it? I think it's like 380k. Let's go. Let's round down to about 380k total if you do about everything that I just said. Now that is a great overall value. That if done right, done all right, you're essentially getting three 95 overall players for 380k. Now, does that not sound great to you? Because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eventually sell Vic, and I'm gonna end up with 395 players for 390k. Now you might be thinking, wait, but. 300k that's still kind of a lot but think about it this way right were you guys all gonna buy bow yes probably right what does bow go for if you don't snipe him out 300k 
So let's say you're gonna be you're gonna buy bow no matter what, right? Everyone's buying bow no matter what. So that leaves you with 90k left. So no matter what, you were spending 300k on bow. That that was a given. That's when I decided I was doing the set. I was buying bow no matter what. So that leaves me with 90k left. Like okay, so 390 to do this set if you sell Vic, and you're buying bow. So now that's 90k left. So I'm like wow. So for an extra 90, if I just spend an extra 90k, right? I end up with Strand and Mel Blunt for 90,000 coins. That I lose in reduction prices sometimes. I end up with the 95 left end and 95 cornerback. Because now look at it. So now if you buy the other, so it tells you 300k for bow or whatever, 290 is when you snipe him. If you buy the other three cards, you put them on the set, sell Michael Vick, and then do everything back. You end up getting all three for 390k. But before, if you had bought, let's say you bought them separately, like, eh, I don't want Mel Blunt. I just want Michael Strand and Bo Jackson. Okay, well, they're going to cost you about 570,000, 570,000 coins altogether. So you actually save 200,000 coins and get three cards. So you end up with three cards and you save 270,000 coins. So 390k, yeah, you might lose them back. You might lose, they might become nat. But the impact they'll have on your team way outweighs the factor than that. And I know a lot of you guys like to power cards anyway, so who cares if they're nat? I think this is the best set in Madden 20. This is one of the better ones I've done all year. Because usually when they do these sets, there's always like one or two cards I don't want. Like it'll be like Bo Jackson, uh, like a, a kicker and something I don't want. I'll be like, ah, I'll do it anyways. But now it's three stud cards. And one is a deposition, two is a deposition, and Michael Strand is not a deposition. But you can always move him to like deal uh, defensive tackle. You can move him other places, or you can even have some backup for Cam. So they really hit it on this one, guys. I really do like this set. I recommend that you guys all do this now. Hopefully, you guys see this video sometime today. I will try to get it up to you guys probably as the second video today. But if they do not do daily content, it'll probably end up being the first video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember to enter the 25 days of food miss. All you need to enter is subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment down below the secret word you heard throughout the video, and comment your comments once you draw the signature to win. Good luck. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.